Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Chedeze ChibiK and I create wonderful content on structural engineering and today I'll be teaching you how to create grid lines in AutoCAD. In my next video also I'll be teaching you how to export your drawing from AutoCAD to put a structure. So today we'll be talking about creation of grid line in AutoCAD. You can see this drawing has walls and beams that have been inserted already. So I'm going to teach you how we inserted these columns and how we created different layers for them. Now let's go to layer creation. Why is it that the column is colored in red and the lines are white? It's done from the layer property click on layer property the layer property is used in differentiating different families in AutoCAD so now we have I've already created a layer for axis which is our grid lines I've also created a layer for columns now I want to create let me say I want to create a layer for beam just for example sake I click on this this is new layer then I delete the new layer I write beam then I come to color I click on that color and maybe I pick blue and I click OK I have created a layer for beam and whenever I want to draw in my drawing I want to draw a beam I'll come to this beam I click on it and then you can see if I pick any lines yeah, the color will be in blue so that was how these columns were created let's create a column now we come to layer we change our layer to column and the block that was used was 225 millimeter so we click on polylines so we click left click we drag and we are uh, in, our, in our drawing here in AutoCAD we are using meters while what I've been saying 225 is in millimeter so over here we'll have to do the conversion so 225 in millimeter converted to meters will be given as 0 0.225 meters we hit the enter remove 0 0.225 hit the enter remove up we are giving 0 0.225 we hit and then we click over here we hit the escape button now we've gotten our column how do we feel it we go to hatches we click on hatches and already is your hatches is like a filler that fills up the column with colors we have different way we have by block use current but it's better for this we use layer and once we click on it you can see it's filled up with that color of the layer which is the red color now to move this column to this area we just highlight and then we click on move select base point we click on one edge which is this you see now it's only moving in two directions so to change this we have to go to auto mode click on auto mode and come back fixing it at the second point here yeah. this was how this different column we are inserted in the drawing now to create your axis or your grid line you come over to this layer you click on axis now I'll click on line this is how it is created come to the edge and you see this triangle shows you the midline of your column remember in grid line we have to place our line at the center of the columns so that's how we do it or at the center of the block line we have to have a center line now you can see our line is moving freely I don't like it when drawing grid lines I would want a straight line so I would go hit the auto mode on now you can see we are having a straight line 
now I hit escape button I click on the line I left click I drag I left click again and I hit the escape button we've created the first grid line or axis I click on line again I pick out the center I drag I left click again I hit the escape button I click on the line I left click I drag and this is it I hit the escape button that is just you do that repeatedly picking out all these lines you can see these other columns so you hit the line you hit the escape button you stretch it this is how grid lines are created these are my creation of horizontal grid lines now keep on going like this similar manner until you create all your grid line for the horizontal axis it's quite simple just follow the steps and you get there so you see it's remaining just one point for our for our horizontal grid lines so we are almost done for the horizontal grid lines and I do tell my fellow engineers that when creating a grid line I'd like I always like my grid line to be uniform at both the external edges the extended edges to be uniform so what I do to create that uniform edges I click on line I drag I click again I actually left click and I click the escape button I come over here I still do similar thing I click on line drag I left click again and I hit the escape button now with that being done I click on the trim property I right click I start trimming this point With that done, I hit the escape button, I click on this line, I click on this line, I hit the delete button, I click on the cycle, now with this being done, I would want to hit on text, this is the horizontal axis, I'm trying to create out a marker for each axis so that it becomes easy to identify while using the portal structure even in AutoCAD you can actually know the axis that is being talked about and you hit the text now I would want to use 5 now I would like it's either we use alphabet or we use number so I prefer using number I hit one I left click and that's it I move I will have to remove it from the auto mode so I can move it freely I drop it there now with this being done we are almost at the finish line click on copy and we are just copying it at different point we we'll have to edit the numbers hit the escape now to edit these numbers remember click on remove delete click on 2 you left click left click again you 
you let double click on the number click on two let's click again similar manner over here too you left click twice you delete you click on two you click sorry i click on three and then i left click again similar vein to these two i let's click twice i delete i click on three and I left click again I left click twice delete the marker for my grid line this will be 4 I left click again it's just general repetition I clicked over here delete and I put down 4 and I left click I left click twice delete I write down 5 I left click again now click on copy with that being done I have to trim some of this now I right click Three minutes. You can see I'm trimming. Framed it properly. Now we've gotten our horizontal axis. Now for the vertical axis, still in same manner, we click. Now we look at this point. You can see that's the midpoint of a column or the midpoint of our wall lines. Either your wall lines or your columns. Look at the midpoint. Now I click on this. And I key the escape button. I have to extend the line, so I click here. I click, stretch, drag it upward. I click again. I can actually make this easier rather than going back. I can just click on this. I hit the copy. I click my base point to be this point, and I move to this point I move to this point I move to this point and I hit the escape you can see it was so easy this way I just wanted to show you the various method you can use so I copy this I sorry highlight that and I click on copy and I move this change it from the auto mode and I hit the escape button can see now for this we use marker of numbers I would love us to use marker of alphabet over here hit enter hit the escape button now I need to change this it needs to be shifted to move Uh, that's better now for this I need to trim then I have to right click and then I trim this and I hit the escape button 
I have to change this number and now I have to change it to B and I hit a left click that's good over here I have to change this to C and then I left click now at this point I want to trim I click on this I right click and I trim this inside I also trim this I should do the trimming first so that I don't have to worry about trimming again and that's it you can see now we hit the escape button now I click on this and I delete and I change the digit there to D as my marker for that grid line I hit the LS click now go back to this area I click on delete I use my marker as A click on I actually left click I will, I will have to drag this downward to be in the cycle like hit the move I drag and is inside now for this area this will be the B so I have to click on it I left click twice I delete and I put the B down there and I left click again for this area I would left click twice I delete and I click on and I type C and I hit my left part of my mouse that I left clicked ag again now for the last part of my marker for my grid line I click on it twice let's click actually and I delete and I have to click D and I hit my left part of my mouse twice uh, just once actually click and this is how a grid line is created for your drawing you can see and that is what we have done today in the next class I'll be teaching you how to export this drawing to put that structure so that you don't have to insert your, you don't have to generate an axis important structure you just start working with your actual drawing from AutoCAD so thank you and God bless you I would like to ask that you like you comment and you subscribe as a means of encouraging me to produce more amazing content more great content that can help you and your friends also refer me to your friends that want something on drawings or engineering drawing that wants to learn more about it that would be a very good avenue you can show them my video you can take some course on it too thank you and god bless you have a nice day and ensure you practice more to get better